what is the definition of a church? What makes a church? How do we define a church? And Jesus Christ gave answers to that question in Matthew chapter 18, verse 20. He says, For we are two or three are gathered together in my name. There I am in the midst of them. Now, the church is not the building, no matter how fanciful, no matter how beautiful. It's good to have a beautiful sanctuary for the church as a place of worship, but that is not the definition of a church. The church is not the, the beauty of the, of, the, of the dress of the ministers of God. The church is not in the title of the ministers of God. The church is where more than one person is gathered together. That is number one. Number two, the church is where your gathering together is in Jesus' name, which means anything you are doing there, you put yourself under the authority of the name of Jesus Christ and you are calling on the name of Jesus Christ. That, was, that, that is the definition of a church. And if you know this definition, we will not be too much bothered about some things. You can start a church in your house. Anywhere two or three of you are gathered together, you are you are a church. So don't be don't be don't don't be become a victim of, of doctrines of regulations. Anywhere you find another person and the two of you agree to call upon the name of Jesus Christ, you are a church already. There is no need for any rule, there is no need for any regulation, there is no need for any religiosity. The Spirit of God is there with you. So, start a church in your house today. Start a church in your office today. Start a church in your family today. Christ is there. We thank God for teachers of the gospel. We thank God for pastors to educate us, to teach us the word of God. But you yourself, as you join your faith with another person, you have started a church. It's not the building that makes a church. It's not the... It's not the Beauty of is not the sanctuary that makes a church. It's not the the, the 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 clothes. It's not titles that makes a church. It's not putting offerings that make a church. Once you gather together in Jesus' name, you have started a church. God says is there with you. So cry to God in your household. Cry to God in your business. Is there with you? Church is not a Sunday, Sunday, it should not be a Sunday, Sunday tradition. Start a church in your house, start a church in your business, start a church in your neighborhood. Look for somebody that agrees with you. Next, once you are two and you are coming in the name of Jesus Christ, you have started a church. It doesn't need to have a name, it does not need to have a denomination. Church is not in the name, it's not in the denomination. Look for somebody, agree with the person, and come upon as long as you are coming upon the name of Jesus Christ, and you are more than one, you have started the church. So don't be limited, don't be hindered, don't allow religiosity to hinder you from coming upon the name of Jesus Christ. You have the power, you have the authority, you have the right to start a church. Church is not, it's not a it's not a, you have, any of you have two people have gathered together and they are coming upon the name of Jesus Christ, it's a church. So start a church in your, in your house. Start it and come upon the name of Jesus Christ. You know, if you are lucky, there's a church around, beautiful. But if you are staying somewhere, where there is no, um, where there is no traditional churches, start coming upon, be an altar. In the olden days, Jacob, when he travels, he be an altar. Abraham be an altar. He wasn't looking for churches up and down. Be an altar in your house and, and come upon the name of God. And as you come upon the name of the, of the Lord, He will answer you, He will deliver you, He will promote you, He will heal you, and He will save you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.